Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be making a squad based around the Hector Bellerin objective that is currently out. Uh, many people probably have done it already uh, because it's been out. I'm pretty sure about a week now since I'm recording this. Um, but I just thought I might make a team that people want to use because I see a lot of people at the minute using really bad teams, and it's. I mean, guaranteed. Yes, people don't want to pay to get players for this objective but if you do then it would help you a lot you'll be allowed to allowed you'll be able to win more matches and get the objective done a lot faster and honestly it is definitely worth because these players don't cost much pretty sure it's like 2000 ish if you have most of these players ready I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure I only paid like 3 4000 for it for these players anyway so, I'm going to start with, so basically all these players are going to be low rated anyway. Um, so, what you want to do is you don't want any 70, I'd say 77 rated or more on the actual team. Um, just because if you have over 77, you can't really use subs as much. Unless, like, you have... So if you have the Sterling card, wait let me just check, yeah it was done. If you have the Sterling card that you got pretty much from the start of the game, I don't really know why we got it, I just know everyone's got it for some reason. Uh, if you have that still, you can use him pretty much on any team that has an under 77 rated team on here. Uh, so let's just get started with the strikers. So, as probably everyone can guess, in strike I am going to put Adams because best player in the Premier League. I'm not a Southampton supporter by the way, guaranteed. Uh, I just think he's a really good player. Uh, and then linking to him will be Origi. Uh, I was going to put... who was I going to put now? I can't remember who I was going to put but he had no pace so I just decided you know what. Next best thing, might as well. Uh, I'm right mid. Gonna go with the obvious. Why is he not here? Oh, there he is. Yeah, James is. I saw so many people last like FIFA using James. I can't remember why. I'm pretty sure he had like a special card or something. I don't think people would use him. Like for the sake of using him, because his shooting is shocking. Um. I don't actually know where this guy goes. I'm pretty sure I put him on that side. I just have a like list of players names. So these two, do I have to type his whole name or what? Does this player like not exist? Like what? Um, what? Okay. I don't think his first name picks up on... I don't know if I spelled it completely wrong or what, but that was weird. Um, so... It don't really matter with links, I've just realised, like, you can put them either way, it don't really matter because they're gonna link anyway, the Premier League. Uh, and then on the left mid, you want to put... See, I don't know, like... See, the team I'm using currently is a bit different to this. And I'm just wondering, could I actually put... Because I know a lot of people don't have Shea Adams. And that is the one reason why I didn't want to keep using Shea Adams. Because, yes, he's a great card in the game. And I would probably say the best card in the game. Uh, not the game. The best card to use for this. Um, but at the same time, not many people have him. And... If you don't have him then obviously I don't want to like make a team that's based around him pretty much every time. Uh, so I did actually put... who was it in strike? I can't actually remember who it was. I put... it will come to me as soon as I see him. Ollie Watkins that was it. Because Ollie Watkins is so good on this game. Like, if you have his informs, you'd know. 
like his kind of really good as well uh but yeah adams i've just been liking using at the minute so i am always going to use him on any team that i make pretty much but yeah you can use um pretty much anyone who's under 76 to 77 raid and then i mean in a way it would be better to use the 76 raid i have just realized this because then you could put another silver on your bench and then you could in theory have a higher rated uh, sub bench but it's up to you what you do i mean personally i'd rather have two strikers that i've powered and then a goalkeeper but it's up to you what you do honestly like i'm pretty sure most people ain't going to be using this team like day in day out it's probably just for this objective i'd hope because if you're honestly using this then you probably want to get better players anyway i ain't gonna lie which you can actually check out a team that I made for 100k and I'm pretty sure I went under 100k I'm pretty sure it's like 90 because I'm 90% certain that after that video it actually went down in price by a lot why didn't I put Fred mind you his 81 rated that's probably not a good idea Because I was thinking about players that are low rated but still overpowered, like James is one of them and Origi is another one. Uh, because they're both overpowered, I personally used these two uh, in my main team for quite some time before upgrading. Um, and I only upgraded because like, I got them from a pack, like I would not have bothered upgrading. These two are very overpowered in the game. Uh, and Fredericks, or Fredericks, or whatever his name is, I can never... It's one or the other, I can never remember, like... I remember hearing it on, like, a football match, and it was, like, either Fredericks or Fredericks, I can't remember. And goalkeeper. See, this is where the problem of the sub-bench comes in. Why am I not on goalkeeper? Um, because if you want an overpowered sub-bench... Then you're gonna have to go with one of these, unfortunately. But what I've done when I done this objective is gone for like someone like Henderson, or I went with um, uh, Pope or Kepa as another one that you could put because they're both really good in the game. Um, and I mean, you're only losing like three or four rating, and you can still put like Sterling and who else did I put on my subs? I put Vardy, I think, but I swapped him, like, pretty much on my last few games because I just don't really use Vardy that much. Uh, because I like the striking that I have already. So I was playing Vardy in, like, midfield, and it was just not a fun time because they just kept running through and he's bad at defending, so it wasn't a fun time for the defence, let's put it that way. Um, so, in left back gonna go with there is uh yeah this defense I built apart from I'd probably say the sense backs could do a little bit better but they're the fastest Premier League have there's nothing you can do I'm not gonna lie Premier League have the slowest players I'm pretty sure um but yeah the sense backs in the Premier League I don't really like this year it's something about it it's just not the best um like whenever i'm making these teams i'm like i don't have ideas on the defense because the defense is so bad on this like well in fifa in general like sense backs for premier league they're very slow like you could you could obviously point out the fact of you have people like porte who have 81 pace but he's a special card like, if you look at his original card, 63 pace, you ain't catching anyone with that pace. Like, he on this like whole page, there's literally just Sanchez. And uh, I guess you could argue that he's decent, but... I mean, 74 pace, it's not bad for his own back. It's not ideal, but it's apparently the best the Premier League ever. And Van Dyke is so slow. Like, 
guarantee he is probably the best defender in the game, I ain't gonna lie. But at the same time, like, centre backs just don't work on this game, apparently. I mean, you know it's bad when you can go back to, like, 79 rated players who have better pace than, like, Van Dijk, who's 90 uh, overall, and worth probably more than what he'll ever be. I mean, what well, I'm about, he will never be that much, but I mean, the most probably expensive centre back in the game. And he's so slow. I don't get, like, does Premier League not have speed like players or what? I mean, apart from strikers, I ain't gonna lie, strikers in the Premier League are probably the best. Um, but yeah, this is probably going to be the team that I would recommend. Would I change anything? Probably goalkeeper, I'd make the goalkeeper. Like, this is the bit where it comes up to you. Uh, and being like how you want to do your sub bench. If you don't have overpowered players anyway, just go for a high rated keeper. Like, it's going to help you a lot. But if you have high rated subs that you can bring on, Go with the lowest rate keeper, it's not going to change that much, and you can slap Sterling, you can slap whoever the high rate players you have are on the bench, bring them on like at the start of the game or at half time, destroy them, easy wins, and honestly you'll get 15 wins pretty fast, I'm pretty sure i done, I want to say 20 to 25 matches, and I won 15 of them, it's so easy, uh, if you have the right setup for a team, you should do it quite fast and yeah so my next video I'm probably gonna do I have a few plans um, for some decent teams to do with the objective coming up um, but yeah that's gonna be it for this video if you did like it leave a like and also subscribe and I'll see you in the next one good bye